The most important aspect of creating a good user experience is to obtain and to listen to feedback of your users. In this video, we will see how you will obtain interactive feedback directly in the app using feedback package. First, add the dependency on your pubspeak.yaml file, then get the package. For the demonstration, we are going to use the default Flutter app. So, just start by creating the default Flutter app, then import the feedback library, then wrap the material up with the better feedback widget. In the better feedback widget, we will define the feedback theme data property. Then, we will add the localization delegate, which comes from Flutter localization delegate, which we are going to use it to change the feedback default language. Inside the home page of the default app, create a function feedback and add this code. This is how we show the feedback. On the floating action button, call the feedback function on the onPress property of the floating action button and change the tooltip property like this. Here, you can use these colors to draw on the screen of the app and you can change the colors here. You can undo or delete the drawings if you want to change. Then you can add your comment to the developer here and submit your feedback to the developer when you're done. As a developer, you can receive these feedbacks in multiple ways like uploading to the server using Firebase or emails. In this video, we are going to use email and for that, we will add the Flutter email sender package to our pubspec.yaml file. So, let's update our feedback function which we created earlier. First, we are going to save the screenshot from the feedback widget to our device. For this, let's create this right image to storage function and take the screenshot as a parameter. Here, we created a path to the temporary directory on the device. This comes from the path provider package, which you have to add to your pubspec.yaml file and import the package. Then, we save the screenshot on the given path with the given name. Then return the path. Then draft the email like this. The feedback text will be the body of the email. Then add the subject, add your email, and add the screenshot as an attachment. Then call the Flutter email sender dot send with the drafted email. Then let's run our app. But first, check if you have imported all the necessary packages on your main.dart file. And in order to send email using Flutter email sender package, update your Android manifest file like this. Then let's run our app. Here, you can use these colors to draw on the screen of the app and you can change the colors here. You can undo or delete the drawings if you want to change. Then you can add your comment to the developer here and submit your feedback to the developer when you're done. As you can see, my email app is open with my comment as a body and screenshot as an attachment and just press send. Then check the email you provided if the review you sent from your app has arrived. If you wanted to change the feedback language, all you have to do is to change the default English to any supported language. Here we have changed it to French. As you can see on your app, the language is changed.